All right, everyone, I'm going to show you how to take your measurements. So in our challenge groups, we ask for measurements on a few different parts of your body. So if you're new to measuring yourself, please check out this video and just know how to take your measurements. Know that it's not going to be 100% accurate every time, so just do the best you can. I like to try and find, I'm really freckly, a mole or a freckle or somewhere on my body that I can kind of match up every time that I measure so I can be about at the same place. So starting out, with your arms, you want to be seven inches down from your shoulder. So I just take the tip of my shoulder, again, I try and find a little mark, measure seven inches down, and that's where you're gonna measure your arms because that's the bulk of your biceps. So you measure the circumference of your arm. Also, it's a lot easier if someone helps you do this, so just so you know. And then I do both sides just because it might be a little bit different one side to the next. Your chest, you can kind of measure right at that chest line, um, you know, whatever you can find, but you can measure just directly around your chest find the circumference. If you want to do hips and waist, I'll show you how to do that. So for hips, I actually take the widest part of my hips, and obviously you want to do this like right on your skin, not over your shirt. But I actually have a little tattoo right on my hips, so I measure that. That's kind of my, my uh, measurement point. But if you don't have anything like that, just measure the widest area of your hips. Take the entire circumference. For waist, I do belly buttons. So again, that's pretty easy to measure. You want to measure directly on your skin, belly button, take it all the way across, note your measurements. And then for legs, you want to do six inches down from your inseam. So literally right at that point where the inseam meets, measure six inches down and then across. That's going to give you the bulk of your quadricep. And again, you want to do it the same side. So six inches from the inseam, measure across get that circumference and note that down every week. So in our groups, we ask you to do this every Friday morning. First thing when you wake up, after you've gone to the bathroom, before you eat anything, that's gonna give you the most accurate results. And just know that measurements do take longer than seeing process on the scale sometimes. So don't get upset if your measurements stay the same. It could also mean that you're toning up, you're adding muscle, and that's not necessarily gonna reflect as a decrease. It's gonna get you, your, yourself toner and tighter so don't get discouraged, but know that measurements are more accurate a lot of times than the scale. So hopefully this helps. Comment if you have any questions.